Hello, I'm Ricky Martin, vlog editor here at Aardman, and I have the pleasure of guiding you on an amazing behind the scenes journey, a collaboration between Bandai Namco, Digix Art Studio, and Aardman, as they work to bring you a World War I game experience like nothing you've played before. This is 11.11, Memories Retold, Behind the Scenes. To start us off, we go to Digix Art Studio in Montpellier, France, to talk to the project's award-winning director, Johan Fenice. Hi, I'm uh, Johan Fenice, the game director of 1111 Memories Retold. The idea behind 1111 emerged from the encounter with uh, the Artman team in Paris at the Games for Change Festival in uh, 2016. Uh, of course, Artman animation is very famous for hilarious movies. Uh, and uh, I also worked on uh, some famous uh, rabbits back then. We discussed Games for Change, of course. We discussed about what we can do uh, that goes beyond entertainment. Uh, but making something that goes beyond entertainment is a, is a total a different experience. 11-11 is about peace, not about war. Uh, it's not an educational game in any way, it's still a video game. It's, it's a proper narrative 3D game, but there is this kind of layer in the story that makes you able to go beyond that. It's about those little moments of humanity between the two sides. You can guess that while looking at the logo itself. It has a lot of symbolism and meaning into that logo. During my first visit in Bristol at the fabulous Artman studio, full of artists, animators, like some of the most talented people in the world. The team from Artman, they showed me this short movie they did for Imperial War Museum. It was a 3D environment, but in a very strong stylized way. That was fantastic, it was a 3D painting and it acted like a trigger. This short movie became quickly a key reference for us to establish the art direction of the project. Then later on, I, one day I received in my mailbox the first sketches for 11.11 and that was a revelation. Like, there was no dialogue, there was no music and the emotion was there. And this fusion of making games and the knowledge of animated movies is very powerful. We discussed a lot about what could be this game, the look, the story, the characters. We discovered we have the same uh, heritage of World War I. Both nations were involved in to that massive war that changed the world. Uh, and the more we were talking about the Great War, the more it was obvious that we had to make something to revive this heritage. This event is not far from us. It's just 100 years ago. It's three generations. So it's very important for us that we revive this memory to our children. This subject touches me deeply because my great grandfather fought uh, in World War I in the trenches. He lost his leg there. He lost also his brother there. And this is something that roots the story very deep. In Great Britain, a lot of people every year wear a poppy at 11-11. In memory of World War I, uh, this project is our poppy. There will be many more videos like this one to follow the development of the game. Thank you very much in the name of the whole team for following us on this adventure.